Hello mates, it is Crashmaster, and welcome back to another Bendy in the Ink Machine video. And today mates, what we are going to do is continue on our journey through Drewy Drew Studios. And it seems that somehow, or some way, we're getting lower and lower and lower into the studio. This place is really massive, but mates, basically, here's the summary. So, when I was about to start recording, I checked the game file. Um, it basically, like, you know, I say file 1, 2, and 3 right here. Basically, 1 hour, 11 minutes, 08 seconds. That's not entirely true. Basically, it started on... If you look back before this video and the la Well, this video, look back on the last video, then the one before that. The one before that one. Okay, so the one before the last video, basically, it's it said that it said chapter 2. I'm like, oh no, please don't tell me it didn't save. But unfortunately... It didn't save the data for some reason. So, mates, you know what I'm going to do. I don't feel too right about this. So, what I am going to do at the end of, like, the series of Bendy. And I know there's a new Bendy game. But once this series, this game is done, mates. Just like you all know. Uh, let me just fix this real quick. Um, basically, my plan is to just probably um, put a little bit of a, a screen or a title card on um, when I do my editing to let you all know how long it actually took or at least a good estimate a really really close estimate on how long it really took me to get through the game because I do have old footage and whatnot and stuff like that so much what we're gonna do right now is select chapter then we're gonna go to chapter th oh no what really Okay, Mark, so unfortunately, it looks like we can't do that. So, it looks like at the moment, we're going to actually have to do that. So, let's see. Chapter 3. So, here we are, Mark. Chapter 3, Rise and Fall. So, is it going to get the... um? Okay. Oh, okay. We got a new screen. Wow. That's a lot of machinery. And I have to say, I am a huge fan of that. So, here we go. So, Chapter 3, 5. Don't quote me on that. It's just that I know Chapter 3 is a very, very long one. Chapter 3, Rise and Fall. All right, here we are, exactly where we left off. So we met Boris right there, Mighty Nesta Boris Potter. Oh, look how adorable he is. <laughs> okay, so leave the safe house. All right, so when Boris is safe house, and that's really cool, the, the kind of bendy clock right there, how he's going like... Let me try. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, let's see. So what's that? I uh, can't quite make it out. It's probably just a little bit of um, some junk or whatever. Um, can't open his trunk. Oh, there's a bone! Look at that! So, it's, uh, I guess, the, I guess, is it really a wolf? Is it a dog? And as I said before, the blanket took a little flat, but, hey, you know what? Boris, who knows how long these characters have been living here? We got some weird demonic-looking Bendy, I'm assuming. We got Boris now and all these ink creatures and Sammy Lawrence. It's kind of strange. Oh, look at Boris plushie! That's adorable! We got a minus hat. Um, a couple shirts and overalls. Um, a book, a bone, a lot of a lot of stuff, really. I'm um, got a plane. It seems like right. That looks sort of like a plane, yeah. Um, some ink. So let's see. Maybe Boris is around here. Oh, got some link. I uh, have some leak issues. Got a lot of machinery. Looks like Boris um keeps himself busy. It seems. Hello. Ah oh, man, can't see my reflections. The mirror's way too fuzzy. Weird. Let's see, we got some sink, some ink. <laughs> Didn't mean to make that rhyme. Let's see. Um, danger, keep out. Okay, trust me, I'm not planning on going in anytime soon. Hello, Boris. Are you inside? Hello? Oh, I probably shouldn't even be looking. I'm sorry. Um, okay, I'm, uh... Ooh, a plunger. Well, on the bright side, <laughs> the plumbing's good at least. Oh, wow. Alright, Boris, um, if you're inside there, Mike, sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you, although it didn't look like it, just saying. Um, <laughs> it's got, um, some underwears, um, or underoos, you got some trousers and whatnot, some overalls, and- Oh! Boris, I think that stall is broken, or locked from the inside, or we have a, a guest you didn't tell me about? Well, well, nice to meet you, Boris. Good to see you, Mike. Um, you okay? Right? You love your banjo, right? Oh, my, I, I trust me. I love the banjo, too. Oh, all right. So, ah, uh, man. Okay, so it looks like we're out of tie. You want to go again, boys? No? You're right. It's probably a good idea if we get out of here soon. Who knows what the heck that Bendy... I'm going to say it's Bendy, just because it looks very similar, pretty much. 
Let's see, got a cooking station, really nice. Uh, what's this? Yikes! What the heck is this? <laughs> oh boy, isn't that like one of Henry's lines from a certain moment? It feels so familiar. Like, what the heck is this? When he sees the meatly, right, that's what it is. I don't know, it's like... It's like Boris's nose right there. Looks like, um, that might be Bendy's body, I'm pretty sure. These are not his hands. He's holding something right there. It's got shoes, reared, um, some leggings, maybe? I don't know, it's like a mishmash of, like, Alice Angel. Look, see, it's even Alice's angel with the horns right there. It's like a mishmash of all three of the characters, which is kind of weird, honestly. There we go, some bacon soup. There we are. Let's see. So I guess we're gonna have to leave um now. All right. Oh man, there was some writing on the back of that. Damn. I wanted to get a good look at it. Um. All right. <laughs> I guess we're prepping for the journey. Um. Is this the way out? Uh, Boris. I'm not getting out of here that easy. He to open the door, but the lever is missing. Boris probably has it. Hmm. Um. Find the door lever. Talk to Boris. <laughs> hey, uh, Mike. By any chance, you know what a door lever is? Hey, you buddy. know. Using that lever handle around. Or are you holding it hostage until I make you something to eat? Aww. I thought so. Let's see what we got. Alright. Let's see. Well, we we had bacon soup. Yeah, five soup for boys. Find three ca soup cans. Oh, okay. So, I think we got this area cleaned up, right? Uh, pretty much. And I have to say, I do love this artwork. It is it is very nice. They should make a, a poster of that. Like, an actual, like, um, poster um, on the Meatly Games website or shop. I forgot what it's called. Let's see, so is there any underneath the bed, perhaps? Nope, I do not see any underneath the bed. Doesn't look like any around here. Still, can I just give him a bone? Really, I can't? Oh man. Oh, there we go. Just flew open when I accidentally touched it. That should be enough. There we go. I feel like there was something you could do with this bone at one point. I don't know much, because um, one thing, I noticed are two different endings, or maybe a couple, three. I can't really remember. I think there's two endings. There's a lot of healing secrets. I'm not sure if they got rid of them during, like, all the updates to chapter 4 and chapter 5 or whatnot. But um, I will do a couple runs before we go into chapter 4 completely. So I just want to let you know. Um, let me see real quick. Yeah, the oh, what the heck? There's a bacon soup over there, but I can't get to it. Oh, man. Um, maybe... Nope. There, okay, there's a wall right there, so I can't really reach it, but... Eh, oh, well. Yikes. I guess I guess Mia Boris ate that, and it shot right out of us. Yeesh! Whew. Oh, oh there's, a, there's a pot of tea! Oh, bo oh, Boris. You shouldn't have. Really? I, I really appreciate that, Boris. All right. So, looks like we're going to have to go ahead and um, cook us up some bacon soup. There we go. All right, hopefully it should be done soon. Oh, there we go. Ah, there we are. A nice, delicious bowl of bacon soup for you, Boris. There you go, Mike. There you go. All right. Oh, thanks, Boris. Ah, thank you, Mike. Hopefully you enjoyed that bacon soup. Leave the safe house. Use the lever. Well, Boris, it's really nice for you to let me stay in the safe house. It's a really nice place, too, considering that we might be underground. I can't... I don't know much. We don't really know if this is farther deep below the studios, or it could be higher, maybe? I mean, we did drop a long way down, and we kept going down for quite some time, and we got knocked out by Sammy, so it's a lot of, um, I guess you could say speculation on what we are, but anyways, thank you, Boris. Really appreciate it. Um, I like your your cogs and gears, but you can keep them out. You seem to have a better purpose to, with them than I do. Right, find the new exit. All right, bo oh, Boris, you you want to come with me? You do? Ah, oh, thanks, Boris. Good to have a pal back. It's a shame uh, Sultek isn't here, but you. I think you might like him. Trust me. Maybe I'll introduce you to him one day. Let's see what's out there. All right. Let off. All right. Got lots of bacon soup. Huh? Oh. Uh oh. Uh, Boris. Is there no chance we could get back in? Boris? Boris! Oi! Oh, there you are, Mike. Whew, don't scare me like that. Let's see. Delicious. Bacon soup. Briar label. Tasty eats. Hot code. Hot code. Anything we could do with these? Nope, it doesn't look like it. Alright, Boris. What's this? Little miracle station? Is this a porta potty? Nope, there's no bathroom in here, but... 
<laughs> hello, Boris. Hello. All right, all right. You're right. We should stop messing around. It's kind of like a little phone booth, sort of. I don't really even know what this is. It just says little miracle uh, station. I heard someone call it a safe station once, but I'm not really sure why. It's got the Alice Angel Halo. I guess that that relates to her. Oh man, can't get through this door at the Looks moment. Like it's really dark up ahead. Let's find some light. All right. Ah, there we go. Let's see. All right, Boris, you ready? All right, Mike. Just stay close. Don't be scared, Boris. Keep the light near you so you don't get lost. My, so look at this place. It's a mechanical masterpiece, and I should know. Trust me, I I have my f fair share of inventions and whatnot. Oh, oh, Boris, don't worry, don't worry, Mike, don't worry. Look at this ink. It's everywhere. Um. Did you hear that? Nope. Yeah, me either. All right. I think it's best we get out. Who knows where these shafts and ventilation air ducts could lead? Huh? Another dead end. Oh dear. I don't see any other way through. You got any ideas for us? Huh? A vent shaft? Uh, what is it, Mike? Oh! Um, alright. Wait! Boris, where, where are you going? Hopefully he doesn't get scared. Oh. Alright. Uh... Boris? What are you doing, Mike? Maybe he's gonna open the door? Well, in the meantime, I'll- Oh, I was gonna take a seat. Whoa! Nice job, Boris! Where is he? Boris! Boris? Are you in there, Mike? Boris? Boris? Are you okay? Nice giant bendy sticker, but a little creepy if you ask me. Oh. Wow. I don't remember any of this. Heavenly Toys, Joey True Studios. That's a giant pipe. Man, look at this ink. It's just pouring out everywhere. And look at the giant Boris plushie. You can see him smiling a little bit. Oh, boys, that's just so adorable. Imagine you had this, like, in your bed or, like, on the side of, like, a couch or something. That would be just amazing. Whoa. Hello? Dreams come true. I feel like some of these are safe hazards, like this giant flying plane. Oh, look, a little, another little bendy plushie. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I'm so glad they decided to make these actually, like, um, when they got enough, um, like, credit and money and whatnot. It is really, really amazing. What's that stuff? What is that, like a, a train? Let me check. All right, it is a lot of bendy cutouts, by the way. I should point that. Oh, look at that—a giant bendy one in a in a medium. Well, it's still giant, but I'm gonna call it the medium-sized one. Oh, that's pretty cool. They got some trains and whatnot. I would have loved playing with this when I was a kid. I actually did. Fun fact, Mites. I actually used to play with um wooden trains when I was younger. So good. Now I switched to like Thomas and mechanical like X trains for building the track myself. Ah, good times, good memories. Hmm, let's see. Oh, that's pretty cool. This looks relatively, um, intact. Let's see. Oh. Punching in. Alright. <laughs> it's also got a card right there as well. Hmm. Work hard, work happy. Now, Mike, just letting you know, this is actually an area I'm planning on accessing after I beat the Chapter 3 or coming back, maybe. It just depends, um... I'm probably going to do it, I was thinking about doing it, like, two options. One, complete the game in a certain way. Then, we go back into chapter, like, three and four and five. Or maybe the other ones for any other hidden easter eggs maybe we didn't miss. Or other multiple endings. But I, I'm going to do all of the chapter three stuff as much as I know about. Like, the two multiple endings. Because I'm pretty sure there's two and not three. Let's see. Okay. Why is there always something blocking the door? Uh, Gotta be a way through. Oh, man. Fix the toy machine. Restore power lever. Let me see. Ugh. 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 Ow! Uh, 
man. Okay, so... Yep, there is no way we are getting through this, unfortunately. Need to, um... Oh, man. Should probably get back to the old grind. Literally. Yikes. Let's see. How do we... What do we do with this? Wait, what the heck? Is that blocking it? There's a plane on it! Okay, I'm not really sure. Maybe this recording tape will... What the heck? That's pretty cool. You got a... Um, oh. Oh. Poor Boris toy. And a bendy toy right there. What is this? Oh! Oh, okay. That's cool. It's like a... It's like slimy goop thing. You got a bendy and then it was... and Well, it was bendy. Now it's Boris. Alice Angel. And the ink machine. <laughs> Let's see. Yep. Bendy. Boris. Alice Angel. Ink machine. That's pretty cool. All right. I'm going to leave it at bendy. Let's see. Now, boys, this might sound like a familiar character, or YouTuber, in this case. I don't be seeing what's a big deal. So, what if I went and painted some of those bendy dolls with a crooked smile? That's sure no reason for Mr. Drew to be playing off the handle at me. And if he really wants to be so helpful, he could be telling me what I'm to be doing with this warehouse I got full of that angel, what you might call it. And a scrap of that mess be said. They probably have to melt it all down to be rid of it all. Okay, now, Mike's honestly, um, I know you probably wasn't able to see it because I'm on the top left with the face cam and whatnot. So, Mike's, I'll be back in one quick second. I'm going to probably move it to um, the top right right now. So, that way, we can all see, like, everything more where it's going on. Or the bottom right. Um, it might move. So, Mike's, I'll be back in one quick second because I'm going to cut ahead and edit that out. Hello, Mike's. We are back. And just letting you know, when I actually do record these videos, I can actually see myself. And it's a little weird seeing from up there to down there right now. <laughs> but, um, alright, Mike, so we're gonna listen to it one more time. And here we go. And yes, that is a cameo from the voice of Jack Jacksepticeye. Now, let's listen to it. Alright, now he's the voice of Sean Flynn, which is actually a little bit of a, a like an actual, like, more, um, sense leading it back to Jack Jacksepticeye, because his name, I think, was Sean McLaughlin. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, Jack, if you ever see this video, probably not, but if you ever do, sorry, Mike. But, um, based, so, from the way it seems, it seems that Joey was, um, it seems that Alice was getting her own, um, popularity spike, maybe, to make actual toys? Just looking around, um, making sure we don't miss anything. Like, um, maybe enough popularity next to Bendy and Boris to make, um, toys of herself. And it seems that her toys weren't selling. Maybe it was just, like, or maybe the fact that she wasn't popular enough and they decide, and maybe Joey Drew decide to make, um, toys of her anyway to maybe try to make some more me money. And, oh dear, poor Alice, yikes, there are a lot of ripped up toys here, or maybe they all fell through age. And it seems that, um, that, um, Sean, who seems to be maybe the toy manufacturer or maker of these toys, or the production from this area, because he steps down here, so it looks like we are still underneath Joey Juice Studios, unfortunately, because it'd be really good to get away from all this mess, just take Boris and we can go home together, we can go to the wife and kids. I'm joking, I'm alone. Alone forever. Um, anyway, uh, so it seems that um, Joey wanted more Alice Angel toys or a line of them, but it seems that he's kept demanding them and whatnot. And he and it seems that Sean really wants. Um, and it seems that he's also mad that Bendy was painted with some crooked smiles. Like the thing is crooked, as in the sense of like the smile he has on, like it's a little crooked and evil. Or does he mean crooked as in like actually like crooked like that? I think it, I think he means crooked like this. But, um, it seems that, um, a lot of Alice Angel toys weren't selling, and it seems that they had to burn it all, or, uh, flush it down the toilet, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so it seems that Alice is, um, having some trouble selling some merchandise, unfortunately, which is actually, for me, pretty hard to believe, honestly. She's a very nice character design for Ben, next to Bendy and Boris, and I have to say I like it. Let's see, so, what do we do now? Do we have to get rid of all this stuff somehow? Uh, it's not working. Maybe if I pull that, um, lever back there before, um, uh, maybe it'll work. I'm not sure, Mike, but, uh, here we go. 
fix the toy machine. Unclog the belt wheels. Oh, all right. There we go. I'm gonna... Back to the old grind. There we go. Oh, look at that. All right. Fortunately, the lever is stuck right now. Plus, oh, yep, you can see that, Marks. You can see um, some of the gears really stuck, so let's be careful and yank! There we go. All right, this one's a little bit stuck, um, although it's, I think it's, um, it's, I can't see anything wrong with it. Let's see, uh, yoink! Whew, gotta be careful. There we go, all right, now this side, uh, yep! Whew, gotta be careful, Marks. Trust me, you do not want your fingers getting sip. And there's the plane, yep! Yeah, turn on the toy machine. All right, mates, here we go. Oh. All right, so let's see. So, anything else by any chance? I don't want to miss too much on the way, so here we go. She's... Okay, why do I feel like something's going to happen here? Because I'm not seeing uh, a door or anything. There's a way out there. Okay, Mike, so... Where's Boris? I'm really starting to get worried for him, Mike. I'm thinking about going back and checking. Oh, look at this! Alice Angel and, uh, can't really see that. It's some cobwebs. Um, um, something after daring solo do debut. So, um, Serene, oh, I think it's Siren Serenade, presented in Silly Vision. I hope I'm saying that right. Totally. Sorry if I'm not. Whoa! 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 Whoa, what the... What's going on? Hmm? She's quite the... She's quite a gal. Hmm. Okay. Getting Five Nights at Freddy vibes here, honestly. With the Toriador March. Whoa. Uh, what the heck? Whoa! 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 Alice is that? No! Heck! No! What are you? Stand still. Her vision is like a T-Rex. I think. I see you there. A new fly in my endless web. Come on now. Let's see if you're worth Okay. Whoa, what the? What the heck? She took all the, the toys and the poster and... What? That's the other one right there. Alice Angel sent from above. We saw that one before. This one's upside down. Um, in case you didn't see them all, it's right there. Bendy in... Um, well, sent from above. Um, well, Bendy in sent from above with Alice Angel. She sings, she dances. Presented in Silly Vision... What the heck? Was that really Alice? There was something wrong with her. Her face was like half melting. You can see a lot of her teeth. I couldn't really get a look, a good look at her because I was terrified for my life. I, I don't know what that door leads to, but it's probably a good idea. We do not go there. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Got all, the, all these bending counters out everywhere. Oh, all right, Mites, here we are. We got the uh, decision-making place. Um, I see a little bit over there. Dreams come true, I'm pretty sure that says. But, Mites, I'm going to end off the video right here. Now, it might be a little bit longer. It might be a little shorter. I think it's around the even mark. I'm trying to make sure because I made that little odd cut of moving down the webcam because I had to edit it like that. But, Mites, I want, reason why mainly, I want you guys to decide which ending we should do. Which path should we take? Should we join the path of the demon or walk the path of the angel? Which one should we do? Be with Bendy, it seems? Go with Alice? What do you think, Mites? Honestly, I'm interested in doing the Alice run just because she said, um, it seems that... What did she say before? Like, walk with her? What, if you're worthy to walk with angels? I think that's what she just said. Still a little shook up, sorry. But the bendy path, the demon, what would happen if we do that? Would she kill us? Would she... Well, I don't know. Something... A lot's going down here. We need to find Boris Mites. So many questions, so little time. But anyways, Mites, hopefully you all enjoyed this video. 
please leave a like and subscribe. It would be very, very, very much appreciated. Uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way if you guys really do enjoy this series, we can all do it together. And I know if you have a busy schedule like I do because this summer I'm going to be really, really busy in um, July and August. I'm going to have a couple things planned as well. But mics, for now, hopefully you all enjoy it. Don't forget, notification bell, like, and subscribe. It would be very, very appreciated. And yes, mics, I will see you all later. Later, guys!